start here at the circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia. And what a cracker of a session we're expecting it to be. And I'm here, of course, with Anthony Davidson. What has turned out to be a very pleasant... Hey guys, welcome back to another F1 2017 video. We're going to be continuing our classic season championship. This time I'm going to be driving around Spain, so yeah, let's do our one-shot qualifying, see where we can position ourselves on the grid. We're driving an F2004, Ferrari, which is absolutely amazing. It's been quite a few weeks actually since I've uh, played this game, so I'm probably be a bit rusty, but let's see what happens. The main battle is between our teammate pretty much because he's in the other Ferrari 2004 one, so... And the rest of the cars can't really compete with the Ferrari F2004, so... Pretty much a two-way... Oh, oh god. Well... And that's qualifying, guys. That was a rough qualifying. Uh, should we use a flashback? Um, nah. We could restart the session, but... You know what, let's retire from the session. It doesn't really matter too much. I think the race will be a lot more interesting starting at the back of the grid anyway. I think the race should start now. So yeah, our teammate, actually our teammate qualified 4th place actually. He didn't actually qualify in pole, which is a bit of a surprise. He was 1.1 seconds away from 1st place, which is kind of interesting. The Red Bull RB6 seems to be really OP on this track, so that might be our saving grace for this uh, race. As long as our teammate doesn't win, then we're kind of okay, you know. We won't lose too many points. And obviously we're doing a classic championship, so the point system works out as 10 for first, 6 points for second, okay, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Basically only the top 6 places get um, points, so we need to get top 6, essentially. Bad. Not bad of a start. We should out, out accelerate the Renault quite easily. Come on. This guy has so much trip, you know. I really in 11th place is pretty good. And we got like literally four Ferraris ahead of us. Not anymore, but... I think the three Red Bulls are still in first, second and third place, so that's good. I think that's the F2002 ahead of us, I think. Oh god, that's... Oh, wow. I'm not too sure what that Red Bull's doing to me. He literally just went into me. And for some reason, I got a penalty for that. Why do I get a time penalty for that? That's a bit stupid. Like, he went into me, clearly. I don't think top six is going to happen now, though. I 
But I won't give up though. More ahead of us. We are the fastest car though, so. Still a fastest car, which is kind of interesting. I think I should have put more downforce on the car. Especially around this type of track it would be very useful. This car is pretty speedy in the straight line anyway, so that would have been a lot better in my opinion, but it doesn't matter too much. Obviously the next race is Monaco, so we'll have to go for maximum downforce on that car on the next track. So we're currently in 13 spot, we've still got like 7 spots to gain, so... And we got a 2 second penalty for no reason, so... That's a bit unfortunate. I wonder where our teammate is actually. There's a massive gap between the cars ahead of us and the cars ahead of them basically so... Oh god. Almost spawned my car there. Break a bit too late there. Oh god, that's not good. <laughs> Almost spun it into the pit lane. Now if you can get top 10 that'll be pretty good, you know. But we still have a 2 second penalty, so we need to get 2 seconds ahead of these cars ahead of us. Which we definitely can do, you know. So much faster. Unlike 2017, you only get points for top 6, so even though we're in 9th spot, we won't get any points, unfortunately. Which is a bit of a shame, you know. I think we've got like at least one second ahead of the cars behind, so just need to gain one more second. We are one and a half seconds ahead, so almost there. This first sector I'm pretty good at, so we should pretty much gain at least half a second in the first sector over them. We are catching the cars ahead of though. But it's a bit too late. 
Oh god. Oh god, that's not good. And we spawn it. Great. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. Now our tire is going to be really dirty. Oh well. We wasn't going to get any points anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Lucas wasn't our teammate, so our teammate didn't win. I don't think he did. That might have been our team, actually. I'm not too sure. We'll see after we've crossed the finish line. Bit of a disappointing race. On a track dam. We were driving pretty well, actually. Anyways, we come in 14th spot. Not bad. Actually 16 because we've got a two second penalty. Anyways. What can you do? What can you do? Well I'm thoroughly exhausted after the excitement of that race, but I'm sure it's nothing compared to our drivers here. They've worked hard to make it up there, and it's great to see them make their way out onto the podium. He looks really happy to win the race. And Austrian won the, the Spanish Grand Prix. Interesting. Okay, let's see. Well, our teammate finished. Our teammate finished third place. That's not too bad, actually. He only gained four points over us, so that's not too bad. And the two Renaults, uh, Red Bull, sorry, got first and second. Pretty good. But yeah, uh, I'll end the video there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully we do better in the next race. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.